Hi, Harris here of the Dads, Harris and Dave. Today we're making chipotle lime um, chicken. We're going to grill this chicken. We're going to use boneless, skinless thighs. You can use breast meat if you like, and you can, if you use breast meat, cut them into smaller strips. Don't use the whole breast. And we're going to make it in a, it's going to be a, a spicy chipotle lime in an adobo sauce. It's really, really great. It's great on the grill. I've made it in the oven. Nowhere near as good in the oven as it is in the grill. So here we go. Here's how we make it. We start off with a, um, a package of Greek yogurt. Um, this is a seven ounce package. Uh, you can use a seven ounce, a five ounce. Just plain Greek yogurt. That's all you need with that. Then we're going to use two tablespoons of mayonnaise. And it takes two tablespoons of lime juice with the with the zest of one lime. I'm gonna add in there. All right. We're going to um, chop up two tablespoons of fresh cilantro. That goes in it. And we're gonna put some uh, like four cloves of garlic. And we're gonna put a few of the chili peppers in that adobo sauce that comes in this can. You get it at the in the um, international aisle in the grocery store, or if you have an Hispanic um, little grocery store, it's very easily um, easy to find. I'll show you the can in just one second. So you're going to mix all this together, and then you're going to mix in the boneless, skinless thighs, and you're going to let that marinate for about a half an hour to an hour. Okay? Um, it's a little heavy, so I'm going to use a little less than that. I'm going to reserve a little bit to, um, for my presentation of my dish when that's done. All right, so you got the four cloves of garlic already minced right here. So what I'm gonna do is, because I'm gonna reserve part of this as a dipping sauce. I'm using Kerrygold butter, you know it's my favorite butter. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the butter. I already have this pan heating. I'm gonna heat pretty quickly. And I want to, um, I just want to take the edge off this fresh garlic because I think raw garlic in a um, in a dipping sauce is a bit intense. Now I got this recipe from my dear friend Dale. Dale and Barry, they live in um, Colorado. And our bunch of friends from when I grew up really took the skiing. We started out skiing at Ski Round Top in Pennsylvania. And uh, you really don't want to let that go long. So I'm taking that right out and I'm putting that right in. As soon as you start to smell the garlic, you know it's ready. You don't want to brown your garlic. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to take a couple. Let me grab another. So this is the can I was telling you about. Now there's different varieties, but you see it's chipotle peppers in an adobo sauce. All right. So we're going to take a couple of these peppers out of here, and if you don't like it too spicy, don't use too many. That's two, three, I think we'll use three. And this is good, this recipe works for about um, two pounds of chicken. You see there's a little bit of cilantro still in my blade, it's not hurting anything at all. It's already in the recipe and it's fine. But you want to chop this up very fine. This adobo sauce is extremely spicy. So you really want to make sure you chop it super well. And then really incorporate that. You don't want someone to get a big chunk of this in their mouth. Okay, so let's put that in. I'm going to stir all this up. really well. Okay, and now I'm going to take a little about of this out for a dipping sauce. I'm going to put it on the side. Okay. Now I have my two pounds of thigh meat that has been skinned and boned. And I want to mix that all together. I'm going to let this marinate, and then in about an hour, or 45 minutes to an hour, uh, and if you don't have that much time, a half an hour is fine. Hey, listen, I've, I've, uh, I've, I've let it marinate for 15 minutes, you know? If you're in a rush, you're in a rush, especially if it's a work knife. Um, 
Just let that marinate and it'll let all those flavors marry. It's going to be so great. Dale gave me this original recipe. I've augmented it to fit my needs. Uh, you know, I changed up um, the cup of mayonnaise to two tablespoons of mayonnaise and added additional garlic and a little bit more of the heat um, and so forth. So can't wait for you to see how this turns out. Thanks. Okay, well, we have the grill all heated up. And we've brushed it down with a, a, a metal, you know, the, the, uh, the, the wire brush. But now I like, instead of putting a paper towel and putting oil and rubbing on the thing, I just go out and buy Pam Grilling Spray and I just spray my grill so my chicken doesn't stick. And that works fine for me. Okay, so I'm going to put these chicken, these chicken thighs on that have been marinating for about an hour. I'm going to just drop those on the grill. You hear it sizzle? You want your grill nice and hot. I find grilling these works a whole lot better than in the oven. But if you don't have a grill, you can put them in the oven and do it. And I would do it on a rack with tin foil under the rack and, um, and put them on a pretty high oven, like a 400 or a 425 oven, and uh, let them roast kind of hot. That's what I would suggest there on that. All right, so we're going to... We're going to plan on about 20 minutes on each side, and, um, and uh, we'll check to see if they're done at that point, so we'll come back. And then we're going we're gonna, to, we started this grill off hot, I'm sorry. I started this grill off really hot, and I'm going to close this up, and I'm going to reduce the temperature, because we don't want to burn the chicken. We just want to, um, we want to sear the outside, but we want to slowly cook it, so it'll be nice and delicious. Okay, well, Jacques and I are back, and we are, uh, our chicken's done. It took a little longer than eight minutes on each side. It was about ten minutes on each side, but every grill is a little bit different, you know, how some grills are hotter than others. Okay, so I have the chicken on the plate. We made a little quinoa to go with it. Now, quinoa is, what's cool about quinoa is it's a protein. Jacques, this is not for you, little buddy. Um, it's a protein, so it's not a starch. And um, it's also gluten-free. So it's a really lovely side dish that can be used like a starch, but it's not. So we're going to top that um, quinoa with a little bit of some roasted asparagus. And you've seen how Leah has done the roasted asparagus on the website. Jacques, you're very involved. And then we're going to top it off with a little of the sauce that we reserved. And we're going to sprinkle on a little bit of fresh cilantro. Now look at that. Is that beautiful or what? That's a beautiful plate. So now the, the proof is in the pudding, as they say. So we're going to give this a little taste. I'm going to put a little bit of the sauce on it. Really good. The lime juice and the zest from the lime and the dipping sauce was so fresh. The heat from the peppers and the adobo sauce is delicious. And the quinoa, let's taste that. Quinoa and roasted asparagus. Really good to reduce that tummy fat. Excellent. Now how we did our quinoa is, we, you cook it just like rice. So it's a two to one portion. And what we do is, we like to use half chicken broth and half water when we do it. And make sure you rinse your quinoa before you put it into the rice because the, the husk of the quinoa can be bitter. There you go. There you have it. Quick, easy dinner. Delicious. And um, check us out. Check out our blog, thedadsharrisondave.com. Thanks.